So we talked earlier about how important elasticity and range of motion was for speed on your first and second serve. But what about the rest of my body? What are some of the things I could do for that? Well, it doesn't really require going to the weight room to work out. You can do those things on the court. For example, one of the best things you could do was doing a squat. It was like if you had a weight, you just put your racket on top of your hands and go down into a squat position, keeping your back straight and your knees down there. Because the things we're trying to strengthen are, again, our, our hamstrings, our quads, and our glute because those are the parts that's going to give our legs power to push up. So just doing practicing squats with good posture again, as simple as it sounds, it doesn't take complicated things to make giant improvements in your game, just doing squats like that. Well, that works for a while, but so what's another way I can do it? Well, when I practice serving, the balls that didn't make it over the net, I practice picking them up. So I practice moving to the ball, do a split, pick it up, good posture again, split, pick it up, split, Pick it up. So not only am I picking a ball so I can start to do my next drill, but I'm working my legs at the same time. Another great way for strength and flexibility there is lunges. And that's just where you take a lunge, some good posture, hold it, come back up again, lunge the other leg. That. So lunges and squats are your two keys. Now if you want to work on that for even more strength, you can hold a medicine ball as you do it. You can practice doing simple things for balance as well, like doing your squat or your lunge without the ball moving on your racket or just keeping it very still again. So those are great ones for that one. What about my, the last part of my core strength? Probably the best one is just a plank. And a plank's a simple, you move, you can do with your hands, where your hips have to be level, your body in a straight line. You squeeze your abs as tight as you possibly can, hold it for a, a certain amount of time until you feel like your arms start to shake, and then drop. You can also go, if that's challenging for you, drop in with your forearms down. The hips should be not up, not sagging, but very firm. This tells you how long your core strength is, because your core strength is what allows you to keep that posture as you do it. So planks on the forearms, on the hands, and guess what? Even throw in a couple of push-ups for bicep, tricep, and upper back strength. That's a great way to get your strength going.